What's going on YouTube? It's Jay Sauce back again with another video, and today is semifinals of SPS, where your Troplin K's are taking on the Detroit Lion Meg and Coach Ultra Paul, aka Goomba. That's my guy, bro. He's uh the number two seed, as you know, if you didn't catch the last couple videos. I fell down from the two seed to three seed, losing an automatic first round buy and my automatic promotion. And Paul was the benefactor of that. He is the two seed, so he gets automatic promotion, automatic first round buy. And uh, this week was rough for me. I had a Saturday exam, and this game was Sunday night, so I only had like a day and a half to prep, but that's whatever. Paul has the MVP of the week, Terra Ogre Pond Hearthflame. Uh, I believe it racked up 17 kills in two game or uh, 17 kills in seven games, averaging about two and a half kills per game, and follows that up with the spike support of Samurai Hasui, which is probably a huge reason why Ogre Pond getting so many easy kills. Uh, Samurai Hasui, phenomenal bond. It's able to do a lot offensively, run a lot of sets. Uh, same thing with Iron Treads, great utility mod. Then there's a Cure in Black. Uh, no Dragon Dance Cure in Black, but it's still absolutely terrifying. There's a reason this thing was not legal for a long time. And then pairs up with a great defensive core of Deoxys Defense, Terra Pekarat, and Rotom Wash. And then there's Sticky Web support with. For Bombi, uh, this team, Cure Black and Ogre Pond especially, love the hazard stacking that all of us hazard Pokemon provide. And then there is Shinchino, which is fine. I mean, it, it can definitely clean if people aren't aware of it. You know, it's got Tidy Up. It can be really good with, like, Choice Band Skill Link sets or Loaded Dice Technician sets. Um, I believe it gets U-Turn as well. This entire team is very scary, uh, but there's a few holes I'm looking to exploit in this matchup. Um, but I figured if I'm facing my boy Paul in the playoffs, I'm not going out like a baby back bitch. So we're bringing a little bit of heat this week. We're bringing pre Marina, offensive pre Marina at that, with Sing. So Sing, if you don't know, 55% accurate move. But if it hits, it puts your enemy to sleep. And sleep, uh, very, very good status condition. Uh, especially when the opponent does not prep for it. And because I have no, like, spore bonds or I don't have Dark Rye or anything, I don't think Goomba's going to expect this one. Now, you may be saying, J-Sauce, 55% accuracy is not good. And you're right, it's not. It's like a coin flip. However, Blunder Policy allows me to benefit if I miss because because if I miss seeing I get a plus two speed boost and with the speed investment Primarina at plus two speed outspeeds his entire team barring any choice scarfers or sticky webs up so it's a it's a coin flip but both sides are heads man like it's a win-win coin flip uh to pair with that we have surf because it's just a very spellable Pokemon um it should do a lot to most of his Pokemon, I believe, Ogre Pond gets one hit, one tapped, but I forget if that's Terra Fire or not. Uh, additionally, Energy Ball is there for Rotom because Moonblast can't do hit KO Rotom, so I had to slap Energy Ball in here, and then Moonblast just hits his other Pokemon very well. Like two of his Moonblast switches get Shimon by Water Move, and that is. Now, granted, that is if Ogre Pond has Terrored already. But I still like I still like this set. It's a great cleaner here. Um, Rock and Torrent this week, in case I get low. Um, just gives Surf an extra boost. And it's just, the set is just a button clicking. Like, I've been told I've been using Pre Marina wrong. It is a true button clicker. And I'm ready to test this out. Uh, I think it could be really good and catch him off guard. The surprise factor is a real thing in Pokemon. I'm looking forward to it. Next up, we have Yaskarana with the loaded dice. Pretty offensive, then 64 in defense. Bullet Seed, U-Turn, Sucker Punch, Knockoff. 
you may be asking why I have loaded dice bullet seed instead of flower trick because it's flower trick is just better and, and doesn't require Meowskarad to hold an item to be effective. No, so my answer is that Samurai Hisui scares me a lot. Um, it's just a very, very good Pokemon, and my removers aren't necessarily great in this matchup. And if Paul knows anything about me, he knows that I don't like bringing removers or heavy duty boots. And so it's really vital if Samurai comes to kill it early, which is why I like Bullet Seed here. This is a pun pun uh, sponsored set. It's one that he recommended. So full props to him. But yeah, if I could Bullet Seed and kill it frame one, that would be amazing. Uh, he has a couple grass resists, but it's nothing insane. It can get pretty spamful in the late game. U turn, obviously, there for momentum. Sucker Punch and Knockoff. Sucker Punch is basically a fail safe uh, if something like Kieran Black or Ogre Pond get out of hand. Now, granted, they have to be low for those to kill, but like, I believe in Yasgrata, and I feel like we could get both of them chipped. It's just a matter of, like, if we can kill them afterwards. The knockoff, one of the best moves in the game, extremely spammable, and it's gonna be really good here. Now granted, Ogre Pond can't get knocked off, but the rest of his team is, and his uh, his dark resist is a Rabombi, and Samurai, and Samurai gets shit on by grass move. So I think Meowskarot could put in a lot of work this week. Next up, we have Terra Fire Raging Bolt holding the Shuggaberry with 248 HP, 192 Special Attack Modest, and the rest in defense. Um, I think Ogre Pond is carrying its two stabs, and then more than likely one of Play Rough or Stomping Tantrum. I think it's going to be Play Rough because it hits Raging Bolt better. Um, I can also see like Rock Tomb. But I want to bring Terrifier Raging Bolt because the things that beat fire types here, you have Samurott get shit on by electric move. You have Iron Treads dies to a Terra Blast. And then Rotom is neutral against Volt Switch. It also like has to hit a Hydro Pump to damage me. And we all know how Hydro Pump is. But yeah, basically the EVs allow me to shit on Iron Treads, like kill it if it's not AV. Thunderclap is there for the same reason as Sucker Punch. Um, basically just there as a failsafe if things get out of hand. And then there's Dragon Pulse, a very spellable move. Once again, his Dragon type resist is Rabombi. And uh, Earth, his immunity is Rabombi. And then. Iron Treads gets baited by my Shookaberry. If it wants to click EQ versus me, it's not doing that much. And it dies in return. So I think this Raging Bolt set can put on the most this week. Nothing really likes to deal with it. Um, Shookaberry also helps me with like Earth Power, Cure in Black, or uh, Stomping Tantrum, Ogre Pond, if he has Stomping Tantrum. So I like that a lot. I, I feel like this is just going to be a very crucial mod this week. And I'm hoping that with the sugarberry maybe it can trade two for one this week next up we have iron crown rock and terror dragon this week which like in hindsight wasn't the wisest play but i wanted another type to um resist the ogre pond stabs and i didn't want to be weak t i didn't want to go double fire to be honest with you because then all of a sudden the stuff that beats raging bolt beats Iron Crown, and then that's a third of my team. I wasn't happy with that. Like, if he is play rough, um, Ogre Pond, that he beats my Iron Crown anyways, but I don't really beat Ogre Pond back, so it's a little... I, I don't mind it as much. Uh, Moroccan, 232 speed with a jolly nature, ensuring that I always outspeed Kira Black, and this is the reason that Iron Crown is rocking heavy duty boots this week. I believe it's very important for my Iron Crown to always outspeed Garen Black, even with webs up. Um, and then after that, we have 148 special attack. I believe 
should always one tap pure offensive Kira. Um, I believe that's what the calc is. And then the rest was thrown to defense because I'm sub called mine this week, which like again, looking at hindsight, wasn't the best work um, that I've ever done. You know, but the plan is to set up a sub on Deoxys, uh, potentially like Pekka Run or Rotom, and just kind of go ham. Because, yes, while its defensive core is good, it's relatively passive. So, sub could be very good this week. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Like I said earlier, his Dragon type resists our. Rabob B and Iron Treads. Iron Treads get hits with a Focus Blast, so does Samurai. And then Rabob definitely does not appreciate attacking Cutter straight to the dome. I'll, I'll send that shit to Saturn. Don't even step to me, Rabob Um, But yeah, next up we have Annihilate, which the set looks a little familiar if you saw last slide. Uh, sub Bulk Up Rage Strength Punch. Same reasoning as Iron Crown. I can get up a sub on something like. Deoxys or Pekora or Rotom and hopefully just bulk up and recover until I win I mean the, uh, the alternative to substitute was Rest and Rest of Chesto and like I liked it but I just like this better this week and that, that's really all I can say about it uh, I feel like Sub does really good against the stuff that wants to come in on Annihilate and uh, we're rocking 248 HP, 204 defense with an impish nature this week. Usually don't run this fist death bulky on Annihilate, but um, Terra Ogre Pond's a problem. Uh, I believe if I was running just base 248 HP, I believe Ogre Pond, if it's adamant and Terra, just kills me straight up. Like, I had to have this defensive investment in not only because it's good against a bunch of things on his team, like Ogre Pond, Samurai. Uh, Kira Black and Iron Tread, as well as the Sanchino. I had to have it as like a backup plan to Ogre Pond. That the speed is there to outspeed a uh, bulky Kira Black, which, like, you may be thinking to yourself that that's not real. Like, zero speed investment Kira Black isn't real. And you may be right, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. Uh, I want to hedge my bets because. In this matchup, I honestly could see I could see something like bulky AV, or even just like full bulk uh, leftovers. Like I really could see zero speed Kiram coming here. And additionally, I it allows me to outspeed Deoxys if he puts a little bit of speed in it. You know, if he wants to outcreep creep or whatnot. Um, so I am I do believe that the speed EVs matter. Uh, if I put them in defense, the calcs wouldn't change that much anyways. So I figured I'd get better mileage out of speed. Defiant this week because it capitalizes off of pretty much exclusively Rabobi webs. Um, if Rabobi, Rabobi has to be scared to put up webs because I can just get plus two and win the game. Um, if, of course, Rabobi's dead because it's one of the better, at least offensive checks to this. Pl getting plus two immediately, being able to punish the webs is always very nice. Hopefully it deters him from bringing them, but I doubt it. Finally, we're rocking with Talonflame this week. Uh, I had to have a remover. If you go into this team without a remover, you are cooked. You are getting 6 would quite frankly. Heavy Duty Boots this week, which on paper might not look like it makes a lot of sense, you know, with Samurai and Rabobi being the two primary hazard setters. Uh, but I'm scared of Iron Treads rocks. I... I'm like 90% sure Deoxys gets rocks, and I would rather not risk that, considering that stab-wise, this is the best uh, Ogre Pond answer, but I do acknowledge that Ogre Pond has rock tomb. Additionally, I can't really touch Ogre Pond, so it can just get to like plus six in my face, so that's why I have so many other answers, um, but yeah, just max HP, max speed, allows me to outspeed Rabobi. Flame body because if I if I have it's just a good ability if I sack this off there's a thirty percent chance I burn something. Uh, defog because come on, flamethrower air slash just two really good moves. 
Now, admittedly, I didn't need both stabs. I don't think Air Slash is just mainly there for hitting, like, Ogre Pond, and that's it if he already teared with Pekarot. And then U-Turn uh, for momentum. Could have fit Taunt on here. I, I needed Talonflame to have, like, seven move slots this week. I, I wanted Roost, Taunt, and will o -Wisp, but it wasn't happening. But yeah, that's the team for this week. It's semifinals versus Ultra Paul. Shout out to Pun Pun and Wish for the prep help. I, I did not mock this week, but I, I did get prep help from them. Saturday night, Sunday night, it means a lot. And let's just get into the battle. Time to hop into the battle. First thing I notice immediately is no Samurai. That's huge for me. No spikes will be going up. At, well, I can't promise that because Deoxys gets it, but I like my odds. Uh, no Pekka as well, which means Ogre Pond will be the Terra Captain. It's also just really nice for me. It, because Pekarot's just so annoying. Uh, it's the goat of positioning in my eyes, which may not be true, but it sets up the win cons a lot. Um, outside of that, nothing too significant. I believe the only other mod he didn't bring was the Chichino, which like wasn't really a huge threat in uh, prep, but it could have done some damage. But yeah, no, uh, no Samurott being said that Meow set is a little worse. Like he has two Grass resists, um, I believe it's two, but I don't know if Bug resists grass off the top of my head. And Ogre Pond's a quad resist, so I don't love the Meow set here, but seeing where Bombi makes me definitely lead Town Flame. Uh, as the lead is for Bombi, which is nice. The safe place to U-turn here, but I, I don't want to risk it, because like webs are very good versus my team. As you know, I get the crit burn turn one. I'm just him. Like, I immediately know God's on my side, and it's a 2v1. Feel a lot better about myself. Also, the burning Rotom's huge because Rotom's only way to restore HP if it's not leftovers is Pain Split. And a lot of times you can't fit Pain Split into sets, so that damage is permanent. Might as well be. And then I just go Hard Raging Bolt because I see no, uh, no leftovers. And revealing U turn, like, obviously, he, he knows I probably have it, but I'm not trying to risk it versus like a random choice scarf Rotom. Uh, Volt Switch is always his play uh, because I have no ground type, which is very good. Um, as he does just Volt Switch, he goes into Iron Treads early, and like, I already told you what my plan is versus this thing. Additionally, I don't see how being a fire type doesn't help me. Helps me with Ogre Pond, helps me with Kyurem, helps me with Rabambi, helps me with Iron Treads. The only thing it doesn't help me with is Rotom Wash. Like, Rotom Wash is, or, sorry, Raging Bolt's no longer Rotom Wash switching, but, like, unless it is Scarf, like, offense, very offensive Scarf, like, I can see how it would be good versus me, but I have Annihilate, which, to be fair, is Fizz Death. And I have a Meow. Like, I'm not too intimidated by it. The pros outweigh the cons. So I just turn Fire-type, you know. I know I have Shuckaberry. He doesn't. But he just knocks off, maybe predicting a switch. But, yeah, knocks off my Shuckaberry. But it doesn't matter because he's dead. Rogue died. He was not on AV, which is huge. Goes into Yaxus. I have no idea what this is going to do to me. Um. Uh, I mean, I'm no speed investment, so I know if I go first, he's clicking teleport, which is why I stay in and click full switch. I also want to see if he gets hazards up, if he tries to paralyze me, what he wants to do. But he just clicks psycho boost, with, which is interesting to me. As so I full switch out, and now I get a free switch into Meow Scarada. And Lord knows if he's staying in or not. Like, I've seen Deoxys run superpower before, mainly Deoxys speed, but. I could see superpower in this set, so my play, it's just my best play overall, like in case he goes with Bombi or something, is to just U turn out, you know, gauge what kind of set this is, what he's gonna do. Um, he could, oh, well, no, he couldn't be on, uh. No, he couldn't be on Culper. But I go Annihilate, baiting his superpower since he's staying in. Um. But he just does Ice Beam, and that's way better for me, because I took 1% damage from that, and I got Rage Fist Boost. Like, that's 
probably the best case scenario. And like, I sub here because like, I mean, what's switching into Annihilate? But he does reveal the teleport, which like it probably would have been better for me to rage fist there. But then, like, I mean, it's give or take. But he goes into Rotom. I click bulk up because like, what's Rotom gonna do to me? Uh, Hydro Pump, he has to Hydro Pump to break the sub, and I don't trust Hydro Pump at all. Like, if he misses one of these, it might be Jove. I I substitute again in case he misses Hydro Pump, or, you know, is like Thunder Wave, Will Wiz, whatever it wants to be. As he does Thunder Wave, they're just huge. Uh, I don't risk it anymore, I just start taking my HP back. I, get dra I Drain Punch. Uh, as he is Hydro Pump's break sub. So, I should just Drain Punch here, take my kill. However, I don't do that. I substitute in case he misses. Um, I guess my thought process was, if I'm behind a sub, I think I just kill the rest of his team. Uh, like He's not missed a Hydro Pump yet, which granted, it's only been two, but if he wants to try to T-Wave me again or anything. But, yeah, he has Hydro Pump's hits. And, like, I'd rather just get my HP up a little bit instead of risking it. So I get my HP up, but I probably should have just stayed at max HP and take my kill. As he goes for Bombi now, Talonflame is just always my best switch in because the worst thing he could really do to me is like click Sunspore. That's about it. I guess if it if it is Quiver Dance, especially if it's like Sash, that does give me a little bit of hell, but. Yeah, I, I don't know. Ribambi can't really touch fire types like that. I want to save Raging Bolt for later. Just Bug Buzz is there. Surprised it wasn't a Moot Blast, to be honest, but probably expecting like an Iron Crown switch. Uh, that just makes a lot of sense there, if I am expecting Moot Blast. But I U turn out this time because uh, I know he doesn't really want to stay in versus Talonflame. So I go Meow Scrata. I just kill it with a U-turn. Uh, it's my best place. It's my best play. Period. Now I took a little time on this turn. You know, we're, we both have to send a Pokemon, but he, I sent mine in before he sent it his. And Overpod and Kyurem are extremely scary Pokemon. Like, if I let them get a free sub turn, the game might be over. So I didn't really like that. You know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't love that. Um, so I want to bait in this Robombi, I think, was my play. Like, I, th I took a few minutes, tried to play some 3D chess, playing a couple steps ahead, and the best plan was to always bait Robombi in, switch it to something. And so that's what I did. I, I bait this Robombi in. Um, and I noticed that I could abuse my pre Marina here. Like, yeah, I could go into Townflame or Raging Bolt, like I have been. But if Pre Marina gets plus two, Kara Black can't come in on it. And Ogre Pond might be able to, but it can't switch and take two. Um, so that's what I do. Go Pre Marina. As he sets up Sticky Web, which is huge. Sets up Sticky Web again. I don't know if that's a misclick. I don't know if it's Scarf. Scarf makes a lot of sense for Meowscarada because I've ran Meowscarada Scarf. Like 90% of weeks, so it makes sense. But that was his first mistake. I'm planning something far more devious. As I miss the first scene, which is fantastic. It's what I needed, honestly. And then he switches out to Overpond. Well, I click Surf because it's because I kill Kira Black, unless it's like Choice Scarf afterwards. I'm not Moon Blasting there, even though it potentially could kill, just because Surf was the better play. And Surf does two hit KO. I don't know if that's like Max F or if the calc was actually just to uh, KO regular Ogre Pond. It's got like weirdly good bulk. So I can see both ways. Uh, but yeah, Surf just destroys him. Goes into a Bobby now. Now this is where I Moon Blast. You know, maybe I get a drop, but it's looking like Pre Marina is not going to die to this next Moon Blast. Unfortunately, I get min-maxed, and pre does actually die. That's pretty bad for me. Uh, it makes this not a 6-0. And I, I don't know why I made this play. Like, 
Iron Crown was the play, don't get me wrong. But the play should have been to always... Um, the play should have been to always... The play should have been to always just tack and cutter here. My smartass thought that Iron Crown would... Be able to stay underneath the sub. Um, I was in fact wrong. Uh, it, it can't. Now if I put those, I put those EVs into HP instead of being greedy, I definitely could have. But yeah, I just go sub. And, like, just clicks move blast again, revealing that he is probably choice locked. I, I tacky cutter now. This gear black should die still. Like it, it shouldn't matter in the long run. But, yeah, t the first tacky card is 52, but the second one is 47, so he can get the 48-52 roll, but I can't. It, it doesn't matter, though, as he just has to, he's forced to take his kill. If he's scale shot, maybe there's a chance, but he, he'd have to be something to avoid the double sucker punch uh, combo. But yeah, I just go Town Flame after, because it doesn't get outsped because of the webs. Uh, I just take my kill with Flamethrower. So that's a that's a clean that's a very clean 4-0 for me. Realistically, with some rolls, it could have been a 6-0 or a 5-0. Um, I'm not saying it's a flawless game, but it, it was extremely slick, extremely clean. And I just want to say, uh, good game, Goomba, Paul. It, it, it was a great time. Uh, first time playing you, and it, it it's really an honor. I love you. Like no homo. Uh, you're a great guy. But I, I'm having main character syndrome. I'm having plot armor after losing the last two weeks of SPS regular season. It, it made me go super saiyan. Like, sorry about it, but hey, you still get a promotion. So we'll see each other in Articuno next of it or uh, next season. Uh, that's all for me today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment on the video. Um. And I will see you guys for the SPS Finals versus Christian, my week one opponent. I'll see you guys in the next video. JSOS out.